So in today's video, you are going to see Lady Bug Out get a change of shoes. So I'm just taking a walk around to get my bearings a little bit more and see who's up and around. It's nice. It's a nice little area and uh, everyone seems to have slept very well and everybody's getting going and I just thought I would show you around. What? I have something for you. You do? I do. What do you got for me? And I find you as well. Hello. Look at what we did. We what connected our vans with this little <laughs> thingy. Isn't it fun? It's so fun. Welcome to the fun space. <laughs> this is our our stand up living room. Yes, we can stand. See? Tiny, tiny van stand. Look. Tiny van stand. Tiny van stand. Tiny van stand. Tiny van And this is her space. And this is my space. And we decided to do it this way so that we can walk through. We have a living room now. And then we can just join Ooh. each other in here. So this happened. I'm at an event called Vanarchy in Arkansas, and we were just talking about they had bought a compressor, or no, they, they won the compressor at Gutted, and we were just talking about <laughs> how great it would be for me to have one. And we turned around, and lo and behold, I didn't set this up, but I have a flat tire. So we're gonna film the whole thing. So these are my heroes. A heart air compressor, lightweight, 20 volt. You turn it on bed. here. You can set it for a tire or like an air bed so that you don't over inflate either one. You can set the pressure and once it is uh, to the pressure that you need, it shuts off. Very easy to use. And for any van lifer that's out on the road, especially a solo woman, it's wonderful to have. I am definitely in need of this right now. And we're gonna, we're gonna see what we do here and figure out if I uh, need to change my tire or if I can just fill it and plug it and see what happens. We're trying to check to see if there's a, a leak by putting soapy water around and seeing if the, it bubbles up. So we we checked we checked this and that's not leaking. And it, uh, we're going to move it a uh, foot forward again to see if there's anything that we're missing there. But it filled up okay. <laughs> um, it's just yeah, and it doesn't show any obvious leaks, and it's not like a fast leak. So we're going to check uh, as I roll it forward if there's another leak under here that we're not seeing. So we found the leak. I'm just making those bubbles. So it's coming from here, right? Up here? Okay. So this is what we're going to use to try to plug this hole that is obviously leaking from up here somewhere. Wow, you can really see it. As soon as we uh, plug it, we'll put more soap on it and then we'll know. So there was nothing in there though, right? I didn't. If I did, it was pretty small and it had pushed all the way in. Wow. Crazy. Okay, this is the plug. 
once I get it in here. Pull this through halfway. And then this is what? This is rubber cement. Yeah. You put it on to help seal, but it mostly helps oh, okay. lubricate it to go in the hole. Like that. All right. Stick that tighter, much tighter. Yeah. How would I ever do this? I've never had one that hard. Must have been a tiny hole. Okay. In there? I think so. I feel like this is my playlist. So that is how it stays? We're just like I will. Or does it keep sticking? We'll test it and then we'll cut off the excess. Really? Okay. Do you usually wait a little while before you put the air back in? No. No? You can do it right away? You'll be good to go. All right. Okay. And no bubblies coming out, so it's stuck. No, I think we're good. I think we're good. All right. Well, if not, we've got a couple days to see if it goes yeah, down again. <laughs> got a flat oh. tire tomorrow. We'll know. Oh, thank you so much. And so, yeah, you explain yeah, how, how why we have this wonderful little contraption. Well, thanks to Hard Industries, because we recently attended the gutted event in Colorado, of which, uh, for an email uh, edition, we won first prize and won $600 with the heart tools. Thank you, heart. Yes, and so you you got this and, and, and what a few else? few other tools, yeah. We and had several so things. explain this, because some people, I, I mean, I, I heard this at the event about the heart tools and the way the that battery. those batteries, yeah. It's a 20 volt lithium ion battery. This happens to be the four amp hour mm -hmm. uh, to run the portable air compressor. Works real great. Uh, very good for uh, instance when you're out in the middle of nowhere and you need a fire I know and this no, is no comparison to what you could do without it. So. I definitely now understand the reason I need one of these <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully everybody watching will too. Thanks to heart we have one. So yes that you. is so amazing oh wow what a great product and those so those battery packs are interchangeable on all their tools yeah, is that so the idea? Use these on uh, drills saws uh, we have a number of different tools we use them on. That's really cool. Pretty handy. All right. Well, thank you so much again. No problem. All righty. So these are my heroes, and I just wanted them to introduce themselves and their van to you and tell us a little bit about themselves. Hi, I'm Collie. I'm Kyle. And this is our van, Ron Burgundy. And so how long have you guys been doing the van life? Hey, we're going on three years now. I think we, we bought this and started converting it. Enjoy going to group rallies like this and meeting other people, like-minded stuff. Yeah. We've, we've had RVs and fifth wheels and we're into the vans now. I think we enjoy the van the best. It's yes. More mobile and the people we meet, much more friendly. And what brings you to Vanarchy? Well, actually we heard this through Bunny Place here, and D, Miss Ladybug and uh, thought it would be a great time to get back out and see everybody. I am just so glad that you guys were here and that you saw my distress and you <laughs> came to my rescue. That was very, very kind of you and nothing is better to me than kindness. So thank you guys so much for what you did for me. That's just part of van life is helping out other people. We're yeah. more than happy to do it. We do it for anybody, but especially <laughs> well, thank you guys. <laughs> and that is all. Here we are.
are neighbors and my tire is still holding up. I think one of the things that you don't often get to see in videos uh, that share about van life is the community around it and how people really rally together when somebody is in need. And that is what you saw in action in today's video. And I'm so glad that I, I'm not glad that it happens, but in a sense I am so that you could see that aspect of how people just came to the rescue and helped out when I had a need. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.